Alright, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the mean or the average of a data set. If you ever hear the term average, it also means the same thing as mean. So those two words are interchangeable. And to find the mean or the average of a data set, it's very easy. So if we take a look at number one, we have four numbers in our data set. We have 3, 7, 12, and 17. The first step is to add all of your numbers together. So for number one, we're going to do 3 plus 7 plus 12, and finally plus 17. When you add them all together, you're going to get a sum of 39. That's your first step in finding your mean or your average. Add all of the numbers up in your data set and get your sum. In this case, when we add all of these up, we get a sum of 39. Once you get your sum, there's one final step, and then you already have your answer. You're going to take your sum. In this case, it's 39. And you're going to divide it by how many numbers are in your data set. In this case, we have one, two, three, four numbers in our data set. So 39 divided by the four numbers in our data set is going to give us a mean or average of nine and 75 hundredths. You can get a decimal for your mean. Your answer will not always be a nice, clean whole number. You can most definitely get decimals as well for your answer. So if we go to number two, we're going to use the same exact method as we just did for number one. We're going to add all of our numbers up in our data set. So for number two, we have 16 plus 24 plus 44. We're adding 12. And finally, we're going to add 39. And when you add them all up, you're going to get a sum of 135. That's our first step in finding our mean, right? Then we're going to take our sum, 135 that we just found, and divide it by how many numbers are in our data set. So this time around, we have one, two, three, four, five numbers in our data set. So we're dividing by five here. And 135 divided by five is going to give us a nice whole number of 27. So again, you can get a decimal for your answer you can also get a whole number as well. So that's how you find the mean or the average. But before you go, I want you to try a couple problems on your own to make sure you got it down pat. So if I scroll down here, there are two problems that I want you to try, right? So I encourage you to pause the video here, try finding the mean or the average for number one and number two. When you think you have the answers, come back and play the video and see how you did. So I'm assuming at this point you have tried numbers one and two, you have your answers, so let's see how you did. Number one, add all of your numbers up in your data set. So we have 23 plus 11 plus 51, 22, 9, and 4. When you add them all up, you should have had a sum of 120. And after you get your sum, after you add all of them together, you're going to divide that number by how many numbers are in your data set. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six numbers in our data set. So we're going to take our sum of 120 and divide it by six because there's six numbers in our data set. And you should have had an answer of 20 for number one. So hopefully you got 20 for number one, nice clean whole number of 20. And now let's try number two. Again, add all of your numbers up, 12 plus 24 plus three plus eight. If you added them all up properly, you should have got 47 for your sum. Right? And then after you get your sum, divide it by how many numbers are in your data set. We have one, two, three, four numbers. So 47 divided by four is going to give us 11 and 7,500. So hopefully you went two for two in the independent practice. And after watching this video, you can successfully find the mean or the average of a data set. And I'll see you in the next video.